Hello and welcome to our first tutorial here in our channel Dunk Code US and uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you the basics of HTML, okay? So you're gonna learn in this tutorial how to use the HTML markup language to create your first websites, you're gonna learn about the basics tags and much more. So let's get started. First things first, we are gonna create a new document here uh, in our desktop. In my case, I'm using Windows, but uh, if you are using Mac, the process is the same. You don't need any programs to follow the tutorial, okay? I'm gonna use the notepad, the default editor here in Windows, and you can do the same in Mac, all right? So, right-click here on the desktop, new. Uh, my system is in Portuguese, but uh, the, process, the process here is the same. So, I'm gonna choose new document here, and uh, I wanna that you double-click actually <laughs> right click and choose to open with notepad here is the do the the following thing you're gonna choose file save as and you're gonna put this like index.html okay so the secret here is that we create a new file to just create another file with the extension html and with this extension the uh, the browsers in our system, they detect that we want to open this file with the browser. So you can see that here I'm using Chrome. If I double click index, you can see that the page opens. And uh, if I want to change the browser, I can do right click here, open with, and I can choose Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and so on. Okay. So if you don't have any icons here, you do this, you choose to open with and you can choose here your browser, okay? So, right click, open with, now I'm gonna choose notepad because I wanna to start coding, okay? And here, we are gonna start uh, placing our first tags. Okay, the first tag you need is the HTML tag for you to declare the document. And I'm gonna do this using HTML, okay? I'm gonna close HTML like this, and actually guys this is the process when you you are making the markup of your website you use tags like this so the first tag i'm using is the html tag for the document okay so this is default for all websites now i'm gonna use the head tag and i'm gonna close the head tag you can see that i'm using one tag inside of another so this is really common okay when you are uh, developing your website making the markup with HTML so in the head tag we can put the title of our website so I'm gonna put here uh, title and I close the title here and I'm gonna put my like my first website like this and if I save and open with Chrome we can see that our, uh, the title of our website changes here my first website and that's awesome right so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to show you how you can put content inside your HTML file inside your website okay so you start by creating the tag body and you close body okay you can notice that when we open the tag we have uh, the chevron here and we have the slashes so this is actually how you can open the tag and how you close it okay always when you close a tag in HTML you use the slash is basically how this works uh, we have tags where we don't need to close like this but uh, I'm gonna to, to explore this more maybe in another video it's not uh, the case for this tutorial okay so let's uh, keep all vi uh, very simple I'm gonna put like this is easier to see what's happening and uh, I'm gonna put like this, like this, and we can see that I have my browser and the notepad here, so I can keep working. Okay, so titles in our page, how we work with titles in HTML. We have the tag h1, h2, h3, and so on. We do this until h6. So if I put h1 like this and close h1 here, and I can put like uh, my first website, and I save. You can also uh, press Ctrl S to save or you can do this here file and save. If I refresh my website, you can see that we have our first text here. And that's awesome because uh, now we can put content. 
okay? But this is happening because we put before the H1 the tag body, okay? So our website understand that this is our content, the body of our website. So uh, the tag H we can use for putting titles, obviously. So uh, I'm gonna put this H1 onto H6. I have one, two, three, four, five, and the last one six. I'm gonna put this like a two, a two, a three, h three, eight four, eight four, eight five, eight five, eight six, eight six. Let's save this and you are going to see what's gonna happen. Let's save, refresh, and like and as you can see each title is gonna get smaller because we are using the tags for that. So uh, the number one, as you can see, is the bigger title that we use and the H6 is the smaller, okay? This we use for titles, for the content of our website. So now you're thinking, okay, I know how to put titles, but how can I uh, insert like paragraphs here? So for paragraphs, we use another tag that we call P. Okay, P, and you close P like always using the slash here. And uh, in our paragraph, we can use actually a site called Lottie Nipson for to generate random text for us. Uh, okay, and I'm gonna open here in my browser, I'm gonna just type Lottie Ipsum like this, and I'm gonna generate, uh, clicking here, generate Lottie Ipsum, and I'm gonna copy this. This is just a simple text, okay, guys? Uh, this is just for simple text, for I don't need to type an entire paragraph. So let's save like this, save. And now we have our paragraph. Awesome. So uh, it's really important that you understand that we have a lot of tags today in HTML, okay? In this video, I'm gonna show only the basics one, like title, paragraph, and images. Uh, the other ones we have, uh, like video, we have, we can draw things today with HTML. It's really amazing what you can do today. But for the basics and the purpose of our tutorial, I'm gonna keep all really simple, okay? And uh, the next thing we are going to do is insert an image. And an image, you can insert uh, doing the following thing. I told you before that we, can, we have tags that we don't need to close like this. We can simply use the image tag. And here's a trick for you that you don't need to keep typing space like this. You can tap, press tab and the tab is gonna indent your code. Okay, it's gonna keep organized. It's, this practice is really common. So image, EMG, SRC, that is for source. Where is the source of our image? And here we are starting to use uh, another thing really important that we call attributes, okay? So where is the source of our image? And here we can use external images, okay? And you can use uh, internal images. In this case, I'm gonna choose external images. So for example, if I access uh, my website here, this is the Brazilian version of my website. So uh, if I copy this address and put here the address of our image, uh, if in your in your browser is gonna be written like uh, copy image, okay, or copy uh, image address, and because mine is in Portuguese, but this is the address of our image, okay. So what's gonna happen now if I save here and refresh? I'm going to see my first image, and I'm gonna maximize this for we can can see better what's happening. And as you can see now, we have images in our website, and this is awesome. Okay, because basically, if you wanna, let, let's get this website for example. So we have this, okay, uh, ignore the language, I know it's Portuguese, but uh, as you can see, we have text, 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 we have more text, this is basically style, but this is text, image, 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 text, uh, image, text, title, and so on. As you can see, all the components that, uh, we put in our website is here. We have the titles that I showed to you in different sizes. We have a paragraph where we put content and we have images. Of course, that HTML is just the beginning. For you to accomplish, uh, to style your, your website, 
you also need to learn CSS. And this is what we are going to do in our next tutorial, okay? So, uh, just to finish the tutorial and we, again, keep everything simple, we are going to uh, just review here what's happening. So, we open the tag HTML, we close the tag HTML down here, okay, using the slashes. Then we open the tag head of our website and put the title. And inside the tag head, guys, I, I didn't say before, but we put another information of our website like uh, description and other tags that helps Google to find the website. But again, I'm not going to show in this tutorial just to keep everything simplistic for you. So the only tag I use inside the head is the title. And remember, what you insert here inside the head tag, you don't see in your page, okay? This information like title is like is here, we can't see. The content starts after you open the tag body, okay? So in our body, we can see that we start with H1, finish with H6 and paragraphs. And of course, if, if I wanna just copy and paste this, I'm gonna get the same result, but I have now more content in my website. So I'm gonna do like this and save and as you can see down here we have more content the same content but now you are getting the logic okay so so just for we finish our tutorial here i'm going to show you how to insert comment in your code comment basically uh doesn't show in the browser but uh uh this is good for we know what we are doing in our code basically you can put like this you open your chevron like this and you put uh, my comment here and I close like this. And if I save this, you're gonna see that this is not rendered in our web page because this is a comment and this is only seen here in our code. And the code of any website, you can click with the right button here and show the source code of the website and you're gonna see this. This is public for any website. So like this website, I can see the source code and <laughs> any website you can basically inspect and see what's happening behind the scenes. That's awesome. And if you wanna do this with Facebook as well, you can do by simply typing the here and show the source code. And that's it guys. Actually, <laughs> of course the Facebook code is like a mess because there is a lot of things, but uh, that's basically it. So you finish your first first web page with HTML. Uh, the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you some CSS, more HTML, and that's it. If you like the video, please thumbs up and uh, of course subscribe to the channel. Okay, thank you, and I see you again in the next class.